So yeah, the reason I'm a fighter was just to confront a fear. mentioned that I have a friend that is afraid of, of heights but he's a mountain climber and the fact that he's afraid of heights and he's, he's ranked like he's high level mountain climber and the thing is I didn't do this because I met him I was already a fighter before I met him but I thought about some things and I was like you know I grew up in Central America uh, worst of all it was in 1989 during the Panama invasion USA my country invaded their country and of course they had a very corrupt dictatorship um, but man, uh, you know, people, a couple thousand people died there and USA lost about 25 people. Um, but my base where, I was, where my family was stationed was right in the middle of all the combat, you know. So besides having bullets going right by my house and grenades blowing up in the backyard and stuff like that, I mean, that was an experience when you're in seventh grade, you know, so 13 years old, young, right? But besides that, even worse, um, I was there for two years, I was in junior high. And junior high is one of those ages where, uh, especially boys, guys would, they start fighting harder. I mean, the punches actually can hurt you, they can break bones, and it's not like you're five years old, you know, where it's just a slap and the boy cries and it's over. I mean, these were all more serious situations I was getting into. It's because I was an American kid, you know? And I didn't speak Spanish at that time. This could be any last time, Barry. No, he hasn't, he hasn't got it. He's gonna switch, there it That's is! It, no. Yes, 50-50 heel hook. And the fight is Super. over. That is the most difficult fighter to compete <laughs> against because he's fine. He's stepping. It goes over. Slow tribal choke there by Dean Lister. But in my case, I was the only little American white kid. Didn't speak Spanish, and I was small for my size. I was a little bit nerdy. <laughs> I just was, you know. Um, yeah, man. And plus, uh, USA was invading their country. They hated me. I mean, I got in fights. I can't say every day, but the threat was there every day. The threat for sure was there. I don't know how many fights I got into, but they, I never started them, never. I never I never gave up, I never, I fought hard, and they respected me in the end, but it was like, it was a hard thing. And so, I guess maybe it's like confronting a fear, you know? So I think the reason was just to confront a fear, you know, and uh, and I think if you don't ever confront your fear, the part of you just dies right away. Your, your life's almost on hold, you know. Some people aren't ready to face their fears. Some people never will, most people never will face their fears. Never, you know. So you have to find the right time in your life to face your fear. You can't, you cannot force someone else to face a fear. You can push them, you can encourage them. But once someone decides to face their fear confidently and they're, they're really um, motivated to do it, I see nothing but improvement from that point. I mean, you know, nothing but improvement in lifestyle. So yeah, the reason I'm a fighter is not to hurt people, you know. I try to do as least amount of damage as I can to an opponent and I always help them up. All my students, by the way, if it's an MMA fight or a jiu-jitsu match, it's mandatory, they all know this. You help your opponent, then you go shake the coach's hand in the other corner, and then you talk to me. That's the most important.
Hello everyone, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of my new video, xmarshall.com. So please stay tuned to the end of the video to hear more. Jiu-Jitsu is all about problem solving. You know, you get to a situation and you learn how to solve the problem, you get relaxed, and you learn to deal with this. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important to know how to relax, how to conserve your energy, as we said, knowing when to attack. There's psyops, there's, there's mental tactics, there's, uh, you know, you can tell a lot about a person, uh, how they fight. You can see if they're dirty, if they take shortcuts, if they have a temper, you can see if they're patient, you can see if they're explosive, you can see if they're lackadaisical, uh, lackadaisical. you can see a lot of things about someone if they're greedy, and also how they handle the defeat and how they handle the victory. Um, that's why I don't do it as an outward display, but every time I win against someone, I, I never run around yelling, I, I, I check on them. And if I was to lose, I shake my opponent's hand. Uh, I'm not, there's nothing, I'm not saying anything admiral about that, but, but that's something I always strive to be, is someone that's respectful, and you can see, as you said, humility is taught. And if people don't like to be humbled, they're probably not going to last very long doing a martial art, especially jiu-jitsu, because it's such a close and personal, like you got owned. You can't lie in a fight. This video is brought to you by X Martial Gear. Please show your support by shopping with them online for all your Jiu Jitsu needs and by clicking the link below in the YouTube description. They sell fun, top quality rash guards, shorts and other no gi training gear for really good prices. So support this channel by visiting the link below or simply go to xmartial.com.